Oh, man. Where am I going to start? How do I know what I'm good at and what I'm bad at? How do I know where to start my training? I've been off for so long. I just don't know where to begin. Welcome to the Canadian Boulder Channel. I'm Daryl Fitzgerald, one of the co-hosts of the Canadian Boulder Podcast. I am a certified coach here in Canada, and I am a national development coach with Bulls Canada. Welcome to Technical Difficulties, our video series on the development of players and coaches across Long Bulls. Every year I get tons of questions about where do I start? How do I begin my training? I've been off for the winter in Canada. What do I know what to work on? And with the pandemic on, People have been off for a year, maybe even longer, haven't touched a bowl. Where do you start? How do you get to know what you're good at and what you're bad at anymore? Well, here at the Canadian Bowler, we're going to do just that. We're going to give you the tools. We're going to give you the information that you need to get better. Where to start. What drills to do. And just simple, simple steps to help you get from here to here. One of the tools that I always use with my players, and I even use it myself, I got from a mentor and a friend, Lachlan Tai, in Australia. It's a self-assessment tool. It's basically a chart with a list of all the skills that I think are important to make a player an elite player. Those skills that make a complete player, whether you're playing front end or back end. And what I do is I go through without touching a bowl, and I rate myself on every single one of those skills from 1 to 10. One being horrible, I shouldn't be doing anything with that skill because I'll never make it. And 10 being I'm perfect, I will hit it every single time. What it does is it gives me an honest look at where I think I'm good, where I think I lack, and where I think I need to work on. It's a way for you to understand your player or understand yourself if you're using it for yourself. Be honest. Don't just be cocky. Don't just put stuff that you think your coach wants to hear. Be honest with yourself. The only way that you're going to know what to work on and where you are is to put honest feedback down. Now, once you get that baseline down and you say, okay, I think I'm really good at drives. I think I'm terrible at jack throwing. I need to bump up my jack throwing and just maintain my drives for now until I hit that level where then I can start excelling in both of them. You can go and test that. You take that self-reflection, which is just you personally putting down numbers and saying, this is what I'm good at and this is what I'm bad at. And now you put it into practice. You go out and do a self-assessment. Go out and test every single one of those skills. Throw 10 drives, throw 20 drives, throw 30 drives, and then see how many you make versus how many you don't. And be honest with yourself once again. Don't just give yourself a point just because you think it was close enough or the green wasn't that great. Be honest. It'll give you that baseline of where you are in reality compared to what you think you are. See that comparison and you'll know, okay, maybe I'm not as good as I think I am in one thing. Maybe I'm not as bad as I think I am in one thing. And now with this baseline, you can then test over and over to see where you're going up and where you're going down. And you can track your personal best. Okay, My personal best may be 9 out of 10 drives. I know that's not a realistic number, but I know I can hit that. So if I'm on my drive in any given day, I can probably hit 9 out of 10 of those drives. This self-assessment will then give you the feedback that you need as a coach or as a player doing it for yourself. Where do I need to work on? Do I need to work on my draws and put 80% of my time training into my draw skills and then use the rest of the time to just maintain my drives and overweights and jack down? Or do I need to mix it up a little bit and say, okay, I'm going to work today on a ton of draw skills. Tomorrow I'm going to work on drive skills and see where I can start to ramp up my skills. Use this tool wisely and it will help you kick off your training. It will help you plan your training as a coach or as a player and give you the focus you need to hit those marks and get yourself up to that next level. Take this self-assessment and do it again and again maybe in a couple months maybe in the next year and you see where you're progressing where are your personal bests 
Have you improved in the stuff that you wanted to improve on? Has your training been successful in moving you forward from, say, 50% player to 60% player? This is the key to finding out where you need to work, how you need to structure your training, planning, and as a coach, planning is key. You can then look at this and say, okay, this is where I'm going to have my player work. This is what I'm going to have them maintain. And from there, hopefully I can get them to that next level. The self-assessment is very simple. It's just a list. It just gives you numbers. But using those numbers can be a very powerful tool in your bag of tricks. Give it a try. Try the self-reflection. Then try the self-assessment. See if those things link up. Are you actually as good as you think you are? Is your player doing the things they need to actually get into the right spot? This will hopefully give you the data that you need to actually make a plan, figure out your training, and get yourself to the next level. I've put a link to CanadianBowler.com, where is our website that has a bunch of training articles, a bunch of coaching tips. And I've also put a link to our YouTube channel, which hopefully you're seeing this on there. Go there, subscribe, give us a follow. Come back and in the comments below, tell me how this works for you and check out our show. Here you can ask questions about this or other coaching tips, or you can give us suggestions on videos that you'd like to see in the future where we can discuss drills, we can discuss training, planning, whatever it is that you want. Thanks for checking out this video, and as always, may all your goals be touching.